Today we're going to unbox the Hassan Blitz and Air Venture Air Pump. This is just right from FedEx, uh, from Premier Air and Airgun Depot. So let's open the straight out of the box. Take a look, do a box review. Has some blitz, 22 caliper, black, bendetic. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Go ahead and get the camera down here. Just a detailed view of what's come in the box. Okay. And we have a foam piece and it has some blitz in the back. We have the safety card, PCP for the air rifle. Okay, warning. Fill the air cylinder tube with no pellet loaded. Before filling the cylinder tube, make sure the cocking handle is fully pulled to the rear position. Okay, so we need to look at this first before we fill the air. I'm gonna put it right in front of you so you can pause the screen and take a look this before you purchase the gun okay the next one Hassan arms company blitz I'm gonna hold it right here so anyone can just pause the screen and read this okay we'll go to the next page same thing you can pause the screen and read this okay and the next one Get. The reason I make these videos because I see a lot of this things I want to see is not on the well I missed it miss a lot of stuff I want to see miss on the YouTube so I'm making this video as a documentary for myself as a record and for people interesting to see what I want to see what I want to see is everything nothing's missed missed out from the box so let's go ahead and put it down Anything here? It's, em it's empty. Okay. Nothing down there. So we we are, we are talking about a pamphlet, warning card, and a box. Let's see what comes in the box. That really answered the question. Most of the people they don't answer the question because they don't film this. They come with. I was gonna purchase extra magazine. Now I don't have to. They actually come with one, two, three, three magazines so for the 22 I don't exactly know how many is there I didn't look um, but you guys can go online but it does come with three magazines okay and a plastic bag what's in the plastic baggie okay I'm gonna pour it out so everyone gets to see it um, a bunch of gaskets you can see the gasket size I'm gonna spray out a little bit so you guys can see exactly what gasket size come within the box in case you need to reorder or you're missing gaskets okay this are the exact gaskets that come in the box a very tiny one another tiny one a white plastic some type of ring stuff one thick two thick and one skinny one for a large okay and there's another thing left in the box in the baggie look like it's a fail Hassan oh it comes too so it the plastic cap I'm gonna leave aside I'm gonna leave this aside look like it comes with a, the uh, air fail probe okay and also come with a another bag with a bunch of gaskets 
and a metal ring. I'm going to try to get this thing apart so you get, everyone can see what's coming in the bag. Okay, this is what comes in the bag. You got three gaskets here. Uh, a gasket, just yeah, gaskets, and uh, you got metal piece for something, and you got another gasket. Okay, I presume you're supposed to take the gun apart to put all these things in. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and put this away. Put this away. Um, I'm going to show you something, it's different because I ordered from Donny FL. This is the accessory you can order from Dunny FL. Okay, it's for the silencer, but they also sell something different. Dunny FL. It's the best silencer in the United States, maybe in the world. I haven't opened this packet yet, but let's take a look. For Hassan Blitz, the special things you need for Hassan Blitz. The silencer is coming. I have to return one because I ordered the wrong one. I won't have a super quiet for the backyard, so I ordered the the extended large silencer for the Emperor and uh, with a 6 inch extension so will be about 16 inch worth of a silencer okay so this is the quick fail probe you get from Donny FL let's compare a little bit from the factory one so the factory piece I've never seen this before, it's the first time, okay the factory piece has a has a helix knot to it, Donny has a hand tight the front piece looks slightly different, very slightly different. Okay, not sure this will work, but let's go ahead and try. But the gasket looks exactly the same. Okay, and the air outlet on the Donny is slightly bigger. On the in the factory one, is slightly smaller. Okay, also the back, uh, the Donny FL one has a quick attach and detach. The factory one has a screw in piece. Okay, that's that. The differences. And the uh, back of this, see how the, the size differences. Of course, I got Nomad right there. Air Venture Nomad, right sitting right there, brand new. We're gonna open it, see what kind of air fill probe it come with or attachment. So, in this case, let's go ahead and put the factory one back in it, in the box. Let's put down the fill. Quick fill probe in here. Okay, and what else come with Donny? What else Donny sent me? Donny sent me a. Sorry, take my foot out. This is the factory. Oh, this is Donnie's. This is the factory one. Factory gaskets. Oh, look at that. I look like a tip. It's like a 1 to 20 or 5 to 20, something like that. And I believe this is the silencer attachment for the front of the gun. Okay, and I don't know if it's going to fit or not, but we'll see. This will go into the struts. Struts. Okay, done, got this. So this is actually not expensive, just, you know, $50, $60 for this. Before the silencer, you'll need this to mount the silencer. You'll need this for a quick fill. Okay, this is from Donny FL. Let's leave this on the side. Leave this on the side. Or let's just put it right here. Um, what's the best way to show the gun? Best way to show the gun like this. We can all see this. And um, you'll find this end. See? Get enough view so everyone can see this. It's hard to know what I'm looking at. Okay. So let's go ahead and take out the plastic. And this is a Hassan Blitz. Looks like there's a little plastic piece to protect the charging handle. Right here. You set this on the side. There's a bottle in here. There is the gauge here. The gauge come in zero. No air in it. Okay, that's very important. It comes with no air. And the maximum, 
Okay, so the camera shows Hassan has 0 to 300 bar, and I believe 250 bar is where it's the happiest for this gun from other reviews I've seen. Okay, oh yeah, it says right here max pressure 250 bar, dry air only. Okay, and let's also see what other stuff it says on here. It says 22 cal, patent pending, Turkey. All right. Brand new out of the box. Again, this is unbox video. Okay. So, um, it's the trigger, it's the safety, looks like. Uh, there is the This is also no one shows this There's a semi and full auto Look like it just click and click okay Also the railing the Picatelli railing you can use the normal Picatelli on it looks like it So let's go ahead and do another detailed sh shot of the gun so from the from the barrel, look like you can change that and go all the way down, all the way down, all the way down to the end. Okay. Just quickly, while we're here, um, I believe the dummies the camera it might fit yep you can twist this off and it can go back in perfectly okay and oh something important here's the carbon fiber bottle What does it say? Really quick. Something about 310 bar maximum at 60 degrees. Okay, or minus 50 to 60 Celsius. Okay. So this this tank can go up to 310 bar. But prefer to use at 250. And let's see, quickly, quickly, this video is getting long. Um, looks like there's this piece, I look at other people, it's, um, it's a little piece you can detach. Let me go ahead and put it back exactly where it is, so we can go through this journey together. Look like it's a little piece, you, you push it back and you pull, and there's a helix pattern behind it. And it kind of, re kind of reminds me the how do you open this? Oh, look at that! There's a knob here. You just push, and it just opens this. Okay. On the internet, there's a way to make this really, really tight. This spring, very tight. Okay. Also, it looks like this is how you. Load the pellets. Okay. Okay. On the internet, there's a way uh, for the jamming because the cartridge spring is not hard enough. So you take out the back of this. You pack. Um, you take out back of this knot, and I'll show you guys how to do it. There's a video you can watch, but I'm going to experiment myself, and I believe I'm going to do that to all the all the cartridges because there's a little hole here. That's where the spring latch. I'm going to drill on the opposite side, make the strip the spring even faster. So the spring rate is a lot fa a lot faster than than this. Create less time of jamming during full auto mode. I think that's it for the unbox. 
Hassan. Oh, quickly, that's another question I have. How do you raise this thing? You hand twist and you pull it. Quickly look. Look at it. You hand twist, untwist this. And you pull your head rest. And it looks like the back. I believe the back of this, you can also un unscrew this and adjust this piece. Okay? It's a soft, hard, semi soft, hard plastic piece. Perfect. Oh, uh, one thing the cartridge on the internet, it goes about um, this much. So, because it's unboxed video, looks like, let me take off the camera, so the pole. From what I look, I see, I think a one inch riser will be able to clear this. One inch riser. And this looks like a one inch because it's off to the side. I have one inch riser for my ATM up there. So I'm going to mount the ATM for this piece. And this might be the fill probe goes in there so let's go ahead and try this okay this is where the, you fill the air stick it in and take it out um, this is Donnie's Donnie FL's quick fill pro okay also goes in and I heard people said if you fill your air gun all the time just leave it you don't need to do too much to it just leave it in and it will be fine so I think I might just leave this piece in here. We're going to unbox. We are going to unbox the Normat 2. But before we do that, let's go and look see the safety on and off. Okay, safety on, pull back, safety safety off, pull push towards. So just like every every other air rifle, you pull back, safety on, push in the front, towards the front, safety off. Okay, perfect. Let's put safety on for now. Okay, I just saw about something I want to mention in the open box video. You see there is a pinkatel rail right here in the back here and also here. And this looks like you can take this off and put the straps on. There's one piece right here for the straps and there's another piece right here. Also, there's a hang grip. You can also adjust the front of the sight and the reader of the sight and the sight works this way just a normal AR single hole sight with a pin in the front okay and the weight of this it's actually not as heavy as everyone's complaining about this is very light I would say it's all synthetic so yeah I'm okay with this weight this weight actually is fairly light to me the front is a little heavy but I mean, for, as, a, as a gun wise, uh, firearm, if this is out of metal, like a normal gun is, this will weigh twice as much. So I would say this is about half of the weight of AR-15 or AK. I can see why air gun people is complaining about it, but this is my first. Um, I have this uh, Gemmel Fusion up there, Gen 2. It's about the same weight as a Gemmel uh, brake barrel rifle I would say feels like it uh, probably get a lot heavier once I put the scope on ATM scope on but as a yeah compared to normal actual firearm this is not heavy at all period it's not heavy okay so out of all my mags my pellets I heard um, the Hassan Blitz cartridge won't fit the polymag for the 30 cal. So I have a polymag right here. Polymag. I also have a gamma red tip because they say that the length won't fit. So I'm going to try the gamma red tip first, which because it's the shorter one. And go ahead and just drop one in. I'm sure you guys can see this. There's a plenty of room in there. Okay, for the gamma. Go ahead and dump that out. 
with a gimmel red tip okay this will fit let's go ahead and look at another one let's look at the the polymag the predator polymag which is slightly longer because the tip is bigger okay let's go ahead and drop the polymag in there looks like we have plenty of room to go in there with a closed rotate around yep looks fine to me so apparently the 30 cal will not fit a polymag but the 22 will fit just fine uh, I have about seven seven cane of those, so about fourteen hundred rounds of polymag. So we have some great shooting. Okay, one friendly reminder: because Hassan Blitz, there's so many review in my jam, so I won't throw away the box, either box, the shipping box and the original box. Keep all the packing material, just in case a year or six months or whenever it breaks down within the 10 year period you need to send this back for fix you have the the box just after you're done with that put that box in there